Hi, peace out. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, six three three is the last section of chapter six, so our our last new topic, um, and it's about something called the geometric distribution. So we're going to be looking at probabilities of a geometric random variable and expected values for a geometric random variable. So geometric, very similar to a binomial setting. Um, B, I, and S are all the same. Uh, binary has to be success or fail. Um, I, the trials have to be independent. And S, the probability of success has to be the same from trial to trial. Okay, so all of that is exactly the same. So the only thing that's different is um, this T, right? For binomial distribution, we needed bin. We needed our conditions were bins, right? B I N S, and N was that the, like the number of trials is fixed. So out of ten rolls, how many fives do I get, right? So you're you have a fixed number of trials. Um, for a geometric setting, you your number of trials is unknown, and basically you're looking at the probability of um, getting a success for the first time in a certain number of roles. And so you want to look at, um, like, you know, you might say, okay, um, what is the probability of getting, like flipping a coin, ten, uh, flipping a coin, and having the first head be on the fifth flip? You might look at something like that, right? Um, and so basically your, the probability is found by, by looking at the probability of failing, 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 until you get a success. So that is the difference between geometric and binomial. All right, so, uh, you know, it's really, really similar to a binomial. The only difference is that our goal is different, right? In a binomial, we're looking at, okay, out of 10 trials, what's the probability of getting five successes? In this one, it's, you know, how many trials do I need until I get a success? Different kind of question, but same same scenario. Okay. Um, so your probability, say x is a geometric distribution, probability p of success on each trial. The possible values of x are 1, 2, 3, right? Because you can't have zero trials before a success. You have to at least try once. Um, and <clears throat> if k is any one of those values, then we want to know the probability that x is equal to k, so basically you get your first success on the kth try, okay, um, and that's essentially equal to, it is equal to, the probability of failing, 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 k minus one times, and then on the kth time you want a success, okay, so that looks like uh, your failure is 1 minus p, right? The probability of success is p. So the probability of failure is 1 minus p. And then you want k minus 1 fails. And then you want 1 success. So times p. So yay! That is your geometric probability. On the calculator, super easy. So let's assume that our binomial random variable is x. And we have probability of success p. Oops, that's totally a typo. That's supposed to be geometric probability. Ah! Okay. <laughs> to calculate it, you go to second distribution, second vars, and then you want your geometric distribution. So that's going to be the last two. Uh, geometric PDF versus CDF is the same as the binomial and normal, right? Um, PDF is the exact value. So the probability of getting ahead in coin tosses for the first time on the fifth trial, right? Um, and then geometric CDF is the probability of getting your success on the fifth trial or anything before that. So getting your success on within the first five trials. Um, okay, so that's cool. All right, so the expected value of a geometric distribution uh, is, it's basically asking the question, after how many tries 
do like how many tries do I need in order to get a success right um, or what do I expect as far as the number of tries in order to get one success my first success um, so for example you're rolling a die and a success for you is a one right um, how many rolls do you think you're gonna need in order to get a, uh, one um, and typically not typically, but you know, hopefully it makes sense to you that that would be six tries because there's six numbers on a die. You'd have to roll it six times to get a one. Okay, um, so um, if your probability of success is P, then the um, expected value of a geometric distribution, or the expected, expected number of tries that you'd need in order to get a success, is one over P. This is not on the formula sheet, so that's something that you're going to need. Um, even the geometric probability, not on the formula sheet, because it's more like you could make a tree diagram, but I mean it's pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory, and hopefully not that difficult of a formula to know. So make sure that you're aware of the fact that this is not on the formula sheet. So there you go. Uh, we'll do one in quick example. This is actually going to be a pretty quick lesson, but um, Example, toss a fair coin, let x be the random variable flipping a head. Um, what's the probability the coin lands on heads for the first time um, in the first toss, and the second toss, and the third toss? What about the tenth toss? So, um, pretty simple, right? You would, for um, the first toss, right, the probability that x equals 1 is the probability of rolling ahead on the first one, so 0.5. Um, the probability of rolling uh, heads on the second try, which would mean that you have um, a failure, which is a tail, and then a success on the second try, which is a head, so 0.25. Right. Third try is the probability of a fail twice, so 0.5 squared, and then the probability of success once, so that's 0.5. Um, sorry, I just wanted to clean that up for a second. Um, so the probability that you get ahead for the first time on the third try is 0.125. And then the last one, the tenth toss, is the probability of failing nine times and then succeeding on the last one. So, um, you know, that in this case the probability of success and fail is the same um, but uh, typically that's gonna look like um, the probability of success uh, once so failing the first nine times is 0.5 times itself nine times and then a probability of success so 0.5 to the tenth power um, so that's gonna be a pretty small probability Point, uh, oh boy, 9.7656 times 10 to the negative fourth. Very small probability. Okay, um, expected value, uh, if you use the formula, it's super easy. Um, the expected value is just 1 over the probability of success, and in this case, that's 1 over a half, or 1 over 0.5, which is 2, right? Which basically means that you would expect to get a heads, a head on a coin flip um, within two tries. That's all. So last thing to look at is the probability distribution for a uh, geometric random variable. Um, and so, you know, on, if you look here, right, on my x-axis is the number of trials, right? So um, I get it's basically like looking at the probability that on the first try I get ahead and then the second try and then the third try and then the fourth try and then the fifth try I'm looking at all of those individual probabilities and plotting them um, and so it will always because because of a geometric distribution um, that will always decrease and there's somebody at the door hold the phone so the probability of flipping a coin um, and getting a heads ahead on the first try is 0.5, right? We already figured that out from here.
Okay. Um, probability of getting your head for the first time on the second try is 0.25. Okay. And then so on. And as you see, the probability of that happening decreases. It's always going to be skewed right for a geometric distribution. Unlike the binomial distribution, which is symmetric, and the larger n gets, the larger the number of trial gets, and the larger, um, and the closer p is to 0.5, the closer to a normal distribution that will become. Okay, so geometric, skewed right, binomial, a pro a symmetric, and the larger n gets, uh, the higher, the closer it gets to a normal distribution. Okay, and that's it. Yay, chapter 6. Bye.